Hello, as I said in my introduction, uh, yesterday, Alexandra Palace, I was broadcasting to you from the Palm Court. Uh, today, uh, I'm in Brighton, or to be more accurate, Falmer, where I'm broadcasting to you from the Amex Stadium. I've been attending, attending an event here called Overcoming MS, and um, Overcoming MS uses uh, some of my product, which is uh, linseed oil and uh, I'm really pleased to have been here, it's well attended, we had some fabulous speakers, doctors and dietitians, and nutritionists, and people helping with mindfulness and meditation, so it's been a packed day with a great audience and um, lots of interaction, questions, but during the, uh, during the presentations and also at the end, so I'm sure people will go away uh, feeling that they've had an amazing day with a great lunch as well and uh, be rejuvenated uh, in their um, wish to overcome the problems that they have with MS. It's clearly, uh, clearly a difficult problem and there seems to be more and more people uh, suffering uh, and the Overcoming Multiple Sclerosis group don't advocate um, any particular um, therapy. Um, they're not anti-drug, they just want you to have as much information as possible so that you can make up your mind how to help and support yourself and of course your family um, through the, uh, the problems that you're going to encounter. So uh, that's the sort of day it was. Um, I'm, it's great for me to be here as a, a farmer producing linseed oil which is used uh, quite a bit in the protocol uh, and I know quite a bit about that but uh, today they put up a slide to say actually you decrease your chances of having a relapse by 60% if you use um, 20 to 40 mils of linseed oil every day and uh, that's uh, quite quite a remarkable achievement through a very simple oil anyway that's the kind of oil I produce and we're quite happy to supply fresh oil to everybody who would like it and one of the reasons for me coming here and broadcasting um, to you today is because um, next year we're going to start a series of programs for people on the OMS program and also following the Budvig protocol or the Gerson therapy which all use linseed oil and we thought that because people generally know so little about oil and how it's produced wouldn't it be great to be able to show them and so we've invited lots of groups before so we're spreading our wings now and, uh, and uh, asking uh, if anybody would like to come along see how the oil is being produced you can taste some fresh oil um, absolutely straight from the press which is an amazing thing. You can have seed therapy, putting your hands in the seeds. We'll be providing uh, lunch as well, and um, hopefully you'll in, you'll enjoy that day. We've had uh, many events at the farm, both with practitioners and people uh, wanting to learn more about oil. I've got a museum about linseed and flax, so I'm able to use that to help tell the story and. Um, give you some more information you know about oil and fat and the importance of having fat um, as part of your protocol whichever protocol it is you're using anyway um, it's actually getting a bit chilly now here um, slightly windy it's not raining at the moment um, I'm just going to go back uh, to the car park and uh, make my way home um, after the end of a a tremendous day so I shall sign off now and say thank you very much and look forward to seeing some of you um, next year at, at um, our events bye